Hello guys, what's happening? Welcome to Arsenal Cast by web designer Arsenal. I'm your host, Jyotpri Singh, also known as JS. You know guys, I recently decided that we should have videos for web designer Arsenal and these series are going to be called Arsenal Casts. Arsenal Cast. So welcome to the very first one. And in this Arsenal Cast number one, we're going to review Google's web designer, the latest tool to make web designs and ads by Google which has caused a lot of hype in the web designer community so here I have installed let's get cracking to the review straight away I hope not to make it bad so the first one uh, we're going to have a look at is the looks of the software so you see the at very first sight the screen isn't very daunting but still it is some problem it is a problem for some of the new guys you see the icons are nice, neatly arranged and the columns are really nice and they're stacked properly so uh, to see more of the features I'm just gonna make a new default file so you see this box the pop-up box is really nice and all of all of all the design is very sucking like uh, you have you must have used sublime text let me open it here up for you so you can see they're look, looking very similar to each other you see the dark color uh, makes you come in and use the tool and makes you let makes you feel creative that's what I feel so let's just go and make a simple HTML file I just want to say test file name test for WDA and just want to save it anytime okay just a second for it to load and here we have the screen so you have the looks the tools and the icons are really neat and even in my full 1080p that is 1920 by 1080p no sorry 1980 by 1920 by 1080 uh, pixel screen screen the looks are really amazing and the icons are really sharp I'm really happy to use this and I'm finding the looks to be really nice so this was the looks now is the time for usability hmm. yes so now it's time for usability and what I would want to do here is uh, have a look from of web design web designer from a beginner's perspective the first time a really newbie uses it and believe me I've been there and so at the very first look the looks uh, the usability seems to be really easy you, you see simple text a simple square, a fill tool, a stroke tool, a hand zoom, magnify, and a selection tool. All in all, the usability usability is quite easy to understand and use. The Google has done a great job using uh, their uh, web designer to make it as easy for others and beginners as well to use. The the uh, uses uh, I find uh, the best part is that the tips feature is automatically available and it's selected for you rather than for many software which you have to activate and it's just a mystery where it is don't ask me please yeah so here you have the usability is quite nice third one we have coming up is price Google Web Designer is really free free I mean totally free there isn't a penny they call they charge you for using their product but don't let that hold you you see this uh, the web designer might be free but to its competitors like web dream weaver who are really costly it's nothing and the worst thing I thought and I found in web designer was that it was really lacking features it might be free but it's no use if there aren't features let me show you an exact quick example you see just just this many to uh, these limited number of tools we have and I really was digging around and I could not find any more option to add more to these also I've been using and the text tool does not have any uh, h1 or h2 simple things like Dreamweaver has I've uh, reviewed Dreamweaver in the past and it's been a real pressure believe me Dreamweaver is really awesome as a web designer's tool but Google Web Designer I really really think 
it has put me the thought whether it's for web designer or for ad designers as you can see it's for banners and google ads are the main target and focus here of the project so it's just a name for web designer not work last and last i want to touch upon features that can be improved by google to improve or enhance and maybe make this product of this web designer really popular and successful so see you can see the first one i have is the limited number of options just this many tools and this many here now i am uh, condemned by the nice looks of here the code and there isn't any split preview like split view where we can work together in dreamweaver like where we have the code as well as the design and we can edit live the first is this the second is the there aren't many features for web designers as you can see the main focus as i said before are ad makers and we can see the ads have really great options but there are only four formats of files and really really no options for them so i guess the in future that google will improve upon its feature and really help others to do it and with i hope this uh, product of there becomes popular because i really want to see it grow it has real potential for it so let's have a wrap up of all the things i just spoke as far as looks are concerned the looks are really nice the usability is quite easy and are welcoming to beginners the price is totally free and what's the best part of all this but there are the problems with this are that there are really less tools to develop upon and the main focus are targeted are the ad makers and not web designers so all the hype that you saw about dreamweaver competitor is all false it the google should rename it as google ad designer but i do not know anything about it since in the future they have named it web designer they might make or even show us a whole lot of new features that even dreamweaver might not be able to compete upon so this was my google web designer review and for all the people i've made uh, i've written it in the, about it in the past in a blog post which i'll be linking to it so you can see the looks usability price and what can be improved and the wrap up if you are finding uh, if you want to know or more about the web designer google's web designer go back to my post and i'll link it to you and i hope for the best and i think i covered as much as i po can possible and help you out with your problems i hope this review was good enough for you and informed you what you wanted to know again it's your host with the most jyotpri singh aka js bringing to you arsenal cast thank you guys for watching and please like subscribe and share oh and a side note i really want to tell you guys that i'm looking for a sponsor of arsenal cast uh, in the future i'll do many more videos like this and in those i'm looking for a sponsor the sponsor will get a name and a link in the description a uh, special recognition in the uh, bit in the middle beginning and the end of the video if anyone is interested they can contact me at webdesignarsenal.wordpress.com/contact thank you